So Exafine has been getting ready for its last public pay test this weekend. Well, hopefully last because the history behind Exafine has been shrouded in a bunch of question marks. And so if you want to know more about the play test, let's talk about it. Ubisoft, which is the company behind Exafine, after many delays and, and failed attempts at releasing this game, have finally decided that this weekend, with no pre-notice, no letting us know ahead of time, hey guys, we're just going to drop a playtest this weekend if you want to play it. And so according to Twitter, which we all know that since the information the source is Twitter, we all know that it's facts. April 19th is when Ubisoft is dropping this quote-unquote 12-hour playtest. So if you're excited for April 19th and looking forward to seeing more ex-defiant content, make sure to hit that sub button. And the reason why I say quote-unquote 12 hours is because it, in my eyes, I'm not eating that it's going to 12 hours they said this long ago that they're going to try to do another 12 hour play test which doesn't make sense to me who does a 12 hour play test i know they've done this in the past they've actually done that but that was for a different reason this the whole reason why they're doing this play test is so that they can test the servers and che check its stability you don't do that in a day so i'm not buying it it sounds like normal corporate things you know under promise and over deliver type deal but i digress either way i'm just happy to play it the word on the street is that if it goes well it's going to go all the way till sunday which you know high probability that it's going to go till sunday anyways so if you had other plans if you had things to do drop everything if you're one of the lucky individuals who has a girlfriend and you were going to take her out on a date now's your chance to dump her so you can play exafine this weekend which like i said before i'm very excited to play anyways i didn't get to play the previous betas or, or even closed alphas or whatever it's called hence why i'm using i'm visuals no commentary gameplay which he has listed under the creative commons so thank you visual this game is the infamous exafine the so-called cod killer the the game that could be in harry potter terms there's a lot of hype surrounding this game and the bar is set pretty damn high because you're taking on a behemoth of a game call of duty it's not going to be an easy task and if i'm being quite honest and frank it's not going to do it either but it is going to take a big chunk out of the other free to play games like the finals which i'll get into later on in the video x define is this kind of mishmash of games it's like call of duty but overwatch at the same time you can think of it if you've seen my videos in the past you can think of it like the finals but for cod essentially what you have are these like heroes so it's kind of like a hero shooter type deal you have these heroes that have these three different abilities, sorry, two abilities and one like special ability, like one ultimate. Think of it like Overwatch is what you get. And you build up these abilities by scoring points or getting kills or eliminations or doing the objective or whatever the flavor of the month is. Essentially what it is, is a free to play hero shooter aiming at like the classic COD feeling. This is literally what they said. They're aiming for the classic COD feeling, except what puts them apart from COD are those heroes. So each hero has their own abilities. And these heroes come straight out of the Ubisoft IP. So like Splinter Cell, Assassin's Creed or the infamous and beloved and wildly critically acclaimed Skull and Bones. I've never really been like a huge Ubisoft fan. I've played Rainbow Six Siege. I played some of their games in the past, but I kind of lost trust with them, especially with all the recent controversy that's been going on with like the crew and Skull and Bones. Like, <laughs> and this is obviously goes without saying I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Like I can speak freely off my mind, which by the way, Ubisoft, if you do want to sponsor me, I, I wouldn't say no. So they do have a lot of weight on their shoulder. They have a lot to prove that they can deliver they can meet promises which in the past they've kind of failed i don't know if you guys are familiar but x defiant was set to release like months ago they delayed the game so many i think it was like three or four different times they literally delayed the game and then they went completely dark on social media no communication no nothing whatsoever and on top of all that there was a lot of controversy with all this articles leaking out about the work environment and the heads up top leading and directing this game that they're chasing cod and trying to just basically copy them there's a bunch of things that went on behind the curtains and it's a lot of he said she said type deal there's no hard evidence to say this so i'm not gonna like sit on it too long and say that it is facts but the fact of the matter is that they have a lot sitting on their shoulders to prove with this game especially since their most recent release was a complete and utter flop they really need to step it up here which if they do somehow magically manifest that and and do make some kind of successful launch but you only have one launch as i said before with a game and if you screw that up the game is essentially dead hence why i think they delayed the game several times they want it to be absolutely perfect which makes sense to me and they've said this on record before they'd rather release a full-fledged fixed and ready to go game then repaired on the way as they're like taking shots towards call of duty but if they do manage to pull this off then there's a lot at stake not 
just for Ubisoft, but for the other companies as well. Viewers of my channel will know that I primarily make videos on the finals, and that's been like my, my bread and butter. I've been enjoying it since day one, and its player base has kind of slowly and steadily declined, even though it's currently sitting at like a healthy 20k peak players, which is which is a lot. Like, don't undermine that. 20k peak players is still a decent amount, and, that, and that's enough to sustain a game. But when you take into account that a lot of those 20k players are like me and who play the game for the most part solo and just want want something chill and just want something to relax to what happens to those players when they get that when x defiant releases x defiant comes out and they're offering exactly what those solo players want the player base for the finals is going to take a drastic hit and of course it's not just the finals they're going to take players from a lot of different places like hell even caught players are just going to naturally migrate over here and especially since x defiant offers a much better solo experience it's going to be really hard for these companies to pull those players back now i don't care too much about like player numbers this and success story that so on and so forth as long as there's something to play i'm, I'm chilling with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you can click here to watch this one next